Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio. So there's really only three secrets to becoming an artist. The first is you have to learn the fundamentals and be able to apply those in your work. That's critical, absolutely critical. Number two, you have to be able to take what's in here and put that out on the canvas. Number three, you got to be you. Those are the three secrets. Now, it's going to take a while to do all of those three things. It's not going to happen in a year or a month or, you know, six months. It's going to take a while. Uh, generally speaking, it takes a whole lifetime or a whole career of being a painter to do those. But it's really critical in all three of those to do all three. But number three is being yourself, being you may take the longest amount of time of any of those. I mean, a quick scroll through Instagram, whether it be through, you know, painters or uh, figures in pop culture or whatever, there's a lot of people copying each other. Uh, you know, trying to be like other people, trying to do what those other people do. And that's going to be a sure path to uh, not being yourself. I mean, if you have to copy what other people are doing, regardless of whether it's artwork or the way you live or the products you buy or whatever, uh, that's not going to lead you down a very good path in life. You have got to be you. That's the only way, the only real way to make true, authentic work that is yours and yours alone. And it takes time to do that. It takes time to figure out what's in here and how to get that out. And it takes time to figure out who you are as a person. I mean, I know that sounds silly, but sometimes it takes a while to figure that out. And you're gonna, you know, probably have a work that you like if you're a beginning painter, uh, painters that you like, uh, work that you like, and you know, there's going to be <laughs> sometimes when you're going to do work that looks like theirs, but eventually you need to incorporate the principles that those folks use, not the imagery and begin to figure out how that fits into uh, your worldview and uh, your uh, view of life and your view of art and your talents and your strengths. And then that begins to inform you as a person and your authentic work. So don't be in a hurry. You know, I hear from students all the time. They say, oh, well, you know, I'm not sure what style I should be painting or I haven't found a style. If you're searching for a style, you're in the wrong place. You don't search for a style in art. You figure out what's in here. You figure out what your strengths are. You take the fundamentals, you combine all that stuff together <clears throat> with who you are as a person and that is you. <clears throat> Don't think in terms of style. Uh, that shouldn't even cross your mind. Ever, ever should that cross your mind. Just make work that feels right for you. You know, if you're doing realistic work and you hate it because it takes too much time, then maybe that's not for you. Or if you need to do a lot of planning for your work and you like things that are more realistic, <clears throat> then abstract painting probably is not for you. You have to figure out what is right for you and then make it. It's real simple. And it only comes to you while you're making work. I mean, you can't sit around and think about it. Okay, you know, what is it that, that I need to paint? You just have to paint. And in the process of painting and the process of learning, you'll come upon what feels best and works best and is a sort of a signifier in your work that is authentic to you and not to, to anybody else. Don't rush it. Take your time. Enjoy the journey and realize that it will come, but it won't come as a style. It's going to come as something that uh, is natural for you. All right? So don't worry about it, just paint. And eventually, if you do those three things, if you learn the fundamentals and know how to apply those, if you uh, can take what's inside of you and get that out, and if you can be you, then that's all it's gonna take for you to be a good artist. I hope this was helpful for you, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.